The Drain Surgeon, in association with BIFSA, presents A Guide to Plumbing. In this video, you will learn how to install a high-pressure geyser, the pressure control valve, and the necessary safety devices and pipework. The learning objectives for this video are 1. The tools and equipment required. 2. Interpreting the drawing. And 3. Installing a high pressure geyser and connecting pipework. Here are the tools and equipment that you will require to do the installation. Interpreting the drawing. Here are the key points to note from the drawing and the notes. The high pressure geyser is to be fitted in the roof space and it must be placed in such a position as to allow for correct positioning of the control valve and vacuum breaker and also give ease of maintenance. The geyser will be supported on the tie beams using 75 by 50 mm timber bearers, a drip tray and 38 mm by 38 mm hardwood battens between the bottom of the geyser and the drip tray. Overflows from the drip tray, pressure control valve and the TP master valve must terminate outside the building. The cold water is to be supplied in the following way. From a 20mm stopcock at low level to the geyser, using 20mm GMS pipe and fittings, a 20mm stopcock, and a 20mm 400 kPa pressure control valve fitted to the maker's recommendations. Determining the balanced cold water installation. These must be from the geyser cold water supply to the maker's recommendations to A, the basin, through a 20mm by 20mm by 15mm T and 15mm copper connector, B, the bath, through a 20mm by 15mm by 20mm T and 20mm copper connector, and C, the sink, through 15mm GMS pipe and fittings and 15mm copper connector. The hot water distributing pipe is to be installed from the geyser to the maker's recommendations through a 20mm GMS pipe to A, the basin, through 15mm GMS pipe and fittings and 15mm copper connector, B, the bath, through a 20mm by 15mm by 20mm T and 20mm copper connector, and C, the sink, through a 20mm by 20mm by 15mm T and 15mm copper connector. The TP master valve is to be fitted to the top of the geyser. Appropriate jointing materials must be used on all GMS and copper pipework. All pipework is to be surface mounted 25mm away from and parallel to the walls using the appropriate holder bats secured to the walls. Positioning the high pressure geyser in the roof space. Step 1. Place the 75mm by 15mm timber bearers so that they cross the tie beams and in such a position that they are under the edges of the geyser. Position the drip tray centrally on the timber bearers with the overflow outlet in a convenient position for termination outside the building. 
place the 38mm by 38mm hardwood battens inside the drip tray so that they cross the timber bearers and in such a position that they are under the ends and centre of the geyser. Place the high pressure geyser carefully in position on the hardwood battens, ensuring it is the correct way round for the pipework connections. Check the positioning of the geyser, ensuring that there is sufficient room to allow correct positioning of the control valve, vacuum breaker and ease of maintenance. Fitting the cold water supply. Step 2. Beginning with the 20mm stopcock at a low level, measure, mark, cut, ream, thread, remove the oil from the pipes, apply the appropriate jointing material using the appropriate stopcocks, control valve and GMS fittings, assemble and fit the GMS cold water pipe, securing it to the wall with the appropriate holder bats. Remove excess jointing material. Step 3. Using the appropriate fittings, connect the cold water supply to the geyser. Step 4. Measure and bend the offsets required for the basin, bath and sink. Measure, mark, cut to length and ream the offsets. Using the appropriate copper compression fittings, fit the copper connectors to the basin, bath and sink. Fitting the hot water distributing pipes. Step 5. Beginning at the 20mm hot water outlet from the geyser, measure, mark, cut, ream, thread, remove the oil from the pipes, apply the appropriate jointing material using the appropriate vacuum breakers and GMS fittings, assemble and fit the GMS hot water pipework, securing it to the wall with the appropriate holder bats. Remove excess jointing material. Step 6. Measure and bend the offsets required for the basin, bath and sink. Measure, mark, cut to length and ream the offsets. Using the appropriate copper compression fittings, fit the copper connectors to the basin, bath and sink. Step 7. Using the appropriate jointing materials, fit the TP master valve to the geyser. Using the appropriate sized pipe, fit the overflow to the TP master valve to the 400 kPa pressure control valve and fit the overflow to the drip tray to terminate outside the building.